guys. Happy Friday. I'm going to do something a little different today and I am going to actually put on my old makeup routine and then my new makeup routine. Um, I used the Cure Gel this morning and if you've seen my skincare videos, you know that that's my favorite exfoliator. So my skin is so nice and soft. Um, but I'm going to show you kind of my old makeup routine compared to my new one. So actually some of my brushes on my old one are, have like fallen off. But let me just show you. This is my new one. Super compact and small. And this is my old one. My zipper is completely broke because I try to shove it full of so much stuff. So I'm going to do my old routine like I said with you. Um, and I'm going to do... I'm gonna do my mascara one first. I'm just gonna do that side because it's the quickest and I'm just gonna show you how um, how quick and easy it is. Let's see. So I'm gonna go in with my main highlight. All of these tins I personalize, so I pick them out and I'm just putting this color on right now to correct my redness. So I'm just putting a tiny a little bit See how that blends so well with my natural skin tone? Okay, I'm going to go in and contour. And I'm just finding that cheekbone. I'm going to put this up here. I have been getting ready for the weekend. We are actually going to the river all weekend. Um, after Tyler gets off work tonight, it's his birthday today, so we're gonna go to the river cabin with some of our friends and just spend the weekend there. Um, I do have to leave for like a tiny little bit tomorrow because I'm doing makeup for a friend for a wedding. But other than that, we're gonna be at the river all weekend. We're really excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so I put my brightening highlight on and I'm just gonna blend that out. These brushes are so, so soft. Okay, see how pretty and natural that looks. I, um, I'm gonna go in and do the color. Actually, I'm not gonna use a color in there. I'm gonna use, sorry. I'm gonna use the color Tropicana. I love Tropicana for summer. If you don't have this in your compact, you need it. it. Gives you just the perfect glow. Okay, I'm gonna do my bronzer. So my compact as well. And that Tropicana blush is kind of, oh my, in my face, it's like not focusing today. Um, that Tropicana is like a corally color. So it's so, so pretty. All right, and I'm just gonna take my protector sponge and go over it. And I'm going to go in with the BBF brush. I think that's when I'm turning that it's like blowing the screen out. Okay, I'm flipping to the other side of my compact. I'm gonna go into the color Georgia. really weird only doing half of my face <laughs> let's see okay I'm just gonna add this to the inner corner of my eye really quick okay see how simple that was so 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 easy actually I'm gonna put this in my compact really quick all right now I'm gonna go in um, and do the other side of my makeup with my old makeup routine. So I used to use the, I use basically a combination of a lot of things. I used either the Tarte Shape Tape or the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, and then I have, I'll just tell you kind of the names of it as we go because it's all different. Um, all of it is like on the high end of things. I always splurge on makeup. So, um, let me find my perfector sponge here. So I used to put my makeup on my perfector sponge. 
if I can get some out of here. All of this makeup just sits in our closet and takes up space. <laughs> I just don't have the heart to throw it away, especially like my really expensive um, eyeshadow palettes. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. Hello. <laughs> it's so weird to put liquid foundation on after you've been wearing cream makeup. It doesn't feel the best, honestly. <laughs> it's like, feels like it's like drying. I need more though. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna use the, the tart then since I can't get that out. This is the Tarte Double Duty Shape Tape. It's like the foundation. Mm, this is like tingling on my skin. It's like, I can, it sounds really weird, but it feels like it's like drying my skin out. And if you know me, you know I have really sensitive dry skin. Um, so I'm gonna go in and do my concealer. This is the um, Shape Tape. That's the Shape Tape one. Oh, this feels so weird on my skin. <laughs> It definitely feels heavy on the side. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and contour. I have the Tarte Pro Glow Kit. Actually, that's not what I'm gonna contour with. I'm gonna contour with, sorry, I'm trying to find the right brush. I have my huge collection of brushes that is absolutely insane. There it is. See, this is just insanity right there. Don't need that many brushes. Okay, I'm gonna contour with my Anastasia. Whoa, <laughs> compact. Let's hope that blends out. Clearly I'm used to being able to blend everything out. <laughs> Um, okay, let's try and use a brush. This is the brush I used to like kind of blend with. Oh, that does not feel nice on my skin. It's like, look at the bristles. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so weird, guys. I'm so not used to this. Okay. Now I'm going to go in and do my blush. Actually, I'm going to bronze first. You have the Bare Minerals blood or the Bare Minerals bronzer. This was probably like twenty something dollars. So just a recap. Ow. This was fifty or forty three, I think. This foundation, um, the contour kit was like over twenty dollars. What else did I use? Oh, the Shape Tape concealer. That's like around twenty dollars too. So just for price comparison. Okay, bronzer. Put that back in there. Now I'm gonna do my blush. And it has cracked since I used it, but it's okay. This blush was like $50. Don't judge me for spending that. <laughs> And then I'm going to go into my Illuminator palette. I'm going to use this one, Strobe. This palette, I think, was like $25, $30, I think. Um, okay, I'm going to set with a powder here. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Here is a side by side comparison of my old makeup. Ooh, see how it's picking up that texture? Because I used a liquid and then. What is going on on my nose? <gasps> oh, it's picking up the texture on my nose. Isn't that so weird? See how it's like enhancing all that? Weird. Okay, so I'm gonna get real up close and personal so you guys can see this. And then this is this side. Pretty mind blowing. I can tell you that I'm probably gonna go and take all of this side off because it feels like, like, I don't know, when I smile, I feel like this side looks really natural and this side is like crunchy. I don't know if crunchy is a good word, but it's very tight and it does not feel good on my skin. Like I feel, and like I said, when I put that foundation on, it was like tingling, like it was drying out my skin and I cannot stand that and my skin is dry enough as it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's picking up all of that texture. Mind blown, guys. <laughs> um, I did just use the eyeshadow that was in my, um, my main palette because I love these. I do have two other ones. I had a third one. Oh, here it is. Here are the other three palettes that I use. And you can see that whenever I only use certain colors because, you know, this one's pretty much full. But I only really liked that one out of it. So, yeah, what a waste of money. <laughs> um, but for... So I told you kind of how much all of those things costed and in this everything cost $14. So my color corrector 14, contour 14, concealer 14, blush 14, bronzer 14, and my illuminator was 16 because I used the powder. So there you go. There's my review of the two. Um, like I said, take it the way you want it, but um, I'm going to stick with my mascara makeup, the one that's cream and feels really good. <laughs>